Hi everybody, welcome to Otaku Saga, I'm Zero. I'm DK, and I'm Rizzo, and today in Anime Reaction, we're going to be watching the first episode of Bokutachi wa Benkyo ga Dekinai, or We Never Learn. <clears throat> so, um, this is one of the few instances where I actually like the English title, where they changed it, mm. because they made it a pun. It's a hell of a lot better than Wagnaria. Right. That. <laughs> so, I, I'm glad that they, um, kind of glad that they didn't go with the, the one-to-one translation on it, mm. but, yeah. Apparently this is a series you're extremely hyped about. So, this is one of those few manga series that I am completely caught up with. That being said, I, I've only read through it once, so when I read the first chapter, it was like before they had announced the anime, so... So you're caught up with it. I've never touched it, as per usual. Zero, how about you? It, it there doesn't. you go. Zero doesn't read. <laughs> so this is mostly a blind <laughs> So Scout's Honor, this is mostly a blind reaction. Alrighty. Starting in three, two, one, let's jam. For Bode. That hairdo, though. Braids, bangs. What was her barber thinking? And also the principal. <laughs> Who remember, does the hair for these characters? They're manga characters, remember? Oh, God. They have to stand out as being different from one another. I know, but these are hair dudes to rival Yu-Gi-Oh. Um... Okay, Yu-Gi-Oh <clears throat> is far and away crazy, but... <laughs> yeah, let's not go overboard with that comparison. In case you're wondering what this series is about. Hmm. Like in the manga visual textures in the opening here. So, hey, a bunch of public school uh, character archetypes. Athletic Genki Girl. Probably a serious one, probably an airheaded one. Your dense as hell male protagonist. Hmm. No, actually. Oh. Yes, on the first one. <laughs> Ooh, I don't, I, whoa. That was nice. <laughs> <laughs> Busting out the cat budget already. Well, it is the opening, after all. Fair enough. Actually, with our female trio here, I am kind of getting Sanchez Sanyo vibes. Genius and X. <laughs> Short people. <laughs> the rest are put in the second chorus and called Weeds. Bitch, I gave you the answer. I always hated that. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> <laughs> Thumbelina supercomputer. Supreme Waterworks there. How high is the water, mama? <laughs> Damn. And then we have the main character. Mm. Ordinary, talented. 
contradictory title match. Uh, basically, like a student who's like in the upper middle, hmm. right? Hmm. Or maybe even a little higher than that, but not not a genius. Fair enough. If my parents pay for it, I can pocket it. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> that is never good. <clears throat> That's the school equivalent of, we need to talk. I'm sorry, Naruki. <clears throat> we need you to become a harem protagonist. On one condition. Mm hmm. Always. And here's the heart. Here's the condition. Who opened the doors? Like, both the doors that wide? Like, did they just open the doors and go, ah! We're here in the show! <laughs> look on his face. <laughs> Come on, math genius. Can you count? What are you, an abandoned kitten? Aww. She's certainly small enough to be one. <laughs> Abandoned puppy. Ah, <laughs> Abandoned puppy. Personal space. Eh. Head desk. <laughs> Come on, if you're going to be speaking games, at least appreciate that some characters want a multi class. Two hours later. Bruh. <laughs> K.O. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Quite the shrinking violet. Aww. <clears throat> just, just you say. A Herculean task. <laughs> or maybe it's more like Sisyphus. With the rolling. Yeah. Yeah. Punishment worthy of Tartarus. <laughs> zero points? We're going to see zero points? Oh, uh oh. Slight improvement. <laughs> there are more than 100 days in a school year. Oh, bruh. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice timing there. Nice use of the rule of three. Better, better, better. Worse. I just need to hypnotize them and choose different universities. Eh? You 
just know what you know. <laughs> okay, okay Hanakawa. <laughs> oh, a clue, Sherlock. <laughs> and using entirely wrong methods to solve problems. No, forget university. These two should work for YouTube. <laughs> Hi, guys. <clears throat> Hi. Now I feel like a dick. forget the feeling of frustration right now you're gonna meet some women <laughs> that are gonna frustrate you a whole lot more this is a joke in there but i'll be nice <clears throat> Must like where the arrow's pointing it's a textbook not a diary Draft of the curriculum for him? Hmm. Okay, I won't tell you. Holy shit. Um. <laughs> because sleep is for the week. <laughs> there should be bags under his eyes. <laughs> They're hidden by the glasses. <clears throat> that's why wearing glasses is a good thing. I was just about to say, that's the only that's the only perk to wearing glasses. <laughs> oh, no, in, in your case, it's like I'm, wa I'm watching the motherfuckers in high definition. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we're not I doing phrasing. <laughs> we are 
are no longer doing phrasing. Yep. Nice quick correction. You almost earned yourself a free trip around the world from a kick. <laughs> Uh. You have unlocked the harem route. <laughs> Good luck, fucker. <clears throat> oh, yeah, not yet. He still has a few more to go. Uh. Too late. Are we going to get the big pressure situation here? If you know what I mean? Yep. By yelling. <laughs> wow. That wasn't a brush up. That was straight on, man. Massive damage. Full on broadside. Ha, ha, ha. Uh. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> Caught between a hard place and a hard place. Uh, well, two very, two very um, plush places, but. Uh. <laughs> Ah, so we get that kind of fan service too, huh? Oh, never mind. What kind of fan service did you think? I was thinking like family restaurant setting. Uh, yeah, that. I'm, I get a feeling we're going to get the worm analogy a lot from her. <laughs> you see something? Late, late mother's star. You know, you she probably could like compromise and start writing science fiction. Combine her desire with her talent. Oh no, you you. <laughs> <laughs> promises promises are the worst mistakes agreed yeah, speak of the devil I'm guessing her udon uh, restaurant doesn't have a 20 minutes or it's free guarantee <laughs> I 
depends on how many people in the board games and whatnot. In Japan, have you been to a yellow submarine? It's time to d -d -d duel! <laughs> Bruh. Damn. <laughs> Critical hit. <laughs> you know those little uh, like plushies of like chibis laying down? We need to one of her. Oh god, I like that. That was adorable. Adorkable. That's the word. <laughs> or anything critical. Uh. <laughs> I do not understand human emotions. Mm. Study psychology. Yeah, the Dojin Riders will go ape shit otherwise. <laughs> Boy, you done fucked up. <laughs> Twice. Oh. <laughs> uh. She hit him in his weak point for massive damage. The Moe is so strong, he went all might on us. Ooh. That's sad. Oh. 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 Oh, yes. Zero's mm -hmm. least favorite character. <laughs> oh, what a creepy sister. Yeah, she's pretty fucking creepy. <laughs> yeah, when the uh, siblings call her out on it, you know she's far gone. It's okay. She doesn't show up that much. <clears throat> oh, thank fuck. <laughs> This nickname Zo. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Sound travels. Sound travels. <laughs> 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 Weird. <laughs> well, that was certainly enjoyable. A very light-hearted edgy series. Or edgy mm. comedy. Does, doesn't really go hardcore, you know, in the comedy or edgy direction. So it feels like a slice of life, but... The special interest crowd. <laughs> Watermelon. As you had melons that bit. Phrasing. <clears throat> also, that's a pretty um pretty big harem. Uh, okay, so most of those characters aren't actually in the harem. Oh, thank God. I it's think just one, teacher, one right? two, three, four, five. Okay. Mm. That's still big harem. Yeah, I mean, still reasonably <laughs> sized. Yeah. The other ones are just side characters <clears throat> that... They're just there. Well, m most of them are side characters that the support the other girls. Oh. So, like... For her... Whew. She do. Oh, she do. Oh, she do. For her, you have two of her uh, fellow swimming club girls. Mm. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no wow. chill right there. Let's <laughs> try to activate. <clears throat> okay. 
She is definitely not a Lesbotron. Mm. Right. Omnitron? <laughs> Opitron? No, she definitely only has one target. Oh, okay. Mm. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, I like the shrinking. That was a good effect to add to that. Oh, they were still talking about the preview for the swimming glove girl? Yeah. <clears throat> But yeah, this um, (laughs) certainly sounds interesting, especially, well, okay. I have to admit, that was so much better than the fucking PV. That PV was trash. (laughs) (laughs) It's also very interesting that um, the two main girls, uh, I forgot what they're... Uh, I know... Oh, I can remember it was Thumbelina Supercomputer. So, <laughs> Ogata. The, yeah, the short one is... Molly Big Boobs. Is uh, Rizu Ogata. And the other one is... Uh, Fumi. Yeah, what? Fumina, I believe. Fumina Furuhashi. Furuhashi. Everybody always refers to her as Furuhashi, so that's the one that I remember. Mm. Uh, out of those two, I prefer Furuhashi. Um... But my favorite girl has not appeared yet. And she probably won't appear until, like, oh, way later. She's not a lolly. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, well, Lolly Big Boobs is just a nickname. So <clears throat> it's not an actual lolly. These two main girls, um, they're... <laughs> not, not her uh, I lost the game face, and by the way, we all just lost the game. Um... <laughs> You could tell that that was an actual hit, and not just a, not just one for the fact. But the speaker anyway. didn't go off. <laughs> <laughs> um. But yeah, uh, not to so much a oh god, it's like I lost the game face, but her pouty face. We got a picture of that. God, dang it, man! It's a nice, nice shot. Focus on his crotch, like <clears throat> that's the one. Thank you, Sal. But uh, I, I actually really. Really love these two. Um, their interests are very like aligned to my own because I like I like researching and looking into psychology and astronomy, just as a general interest of mine. Like, I those think are... I think it goes for all of us. We like like our desires. What we like, we like to like study in our free time and what we're interested in. It, like, goes against, like, our talents or whatever. It's just, like... You know, oh, like my God, and Flatty Hashi. Oh, my God, Flatty Hashi. <laughs> um, yeah, so and actually, so, what Fanta said, uh, I love how they don't have the stupid tropes harem members usually have. No mm-hmm. random heading with protagonists because they're embarrassed. Already game for that alone. Um, actually, during the opening... DK was like, oh, so you got the usual, you got the usual harem tropes, you got the Genki girl and the sporty girl, and then the yeah, yeah. more serious type, and then and then the the airhead. Yeah, you don't really have that here. Like even even like the Genki girl, um, the the sporty girl is not. She's not as cliche. Yeah, she's not as cliche as you would normally expect. Mm. Well, yeah, basically they're like, hey, uh, yeah, we're totally going to give this to you, but if you want it, you're going to have to be a tutor. So they're not going to totally just give yeah, it to Yeah, they're totally him. holding it over his head. I'm yeah. sure that it is something that has been passed oh. along like the entire time as they're doing these interviews. <laughs> um, so the VIP <clears throat> thing is basically... It's a scholarship. He'll have his entire university paid for. And not only that, he get, you know, if he gets it, he gets to enter without an entrance exam, which is yeah, no huge. entrance exam, and then and then yeah, he has a full ride scholarship basically, which obviously is important to him because as you see at the end of the video, his family is very poor. Damn. So I remember like the you know the apartment we lived in when we started the channel. But well, I mean, in, in their case, it's <laughs> because there's four children in the family, and, and their father died several years ago. Yeah, I mean. Growing up with a single mother myself, that's uh, that's rough. Yeah. Now imagine if you had three other siblings that all needed stuff. Good yep. God! Can, can you just imagine that three other people on this planet who are somewhat like me? And on that bombshell. <laughs> well, I <clears throat> I kind of want to step into that because I know my family, my my 
both of my parents worked primary like most of the time. Mm. I know my dad worked at least at least two jobs at points in time just to make sure that everything was taken care of for me and my two me and my two brothers. Mm. So, I mean it when you think about how much work actually takes place, I mean it really does suck to be put in that position with that many children. Right, yeah. As as a as a person as one of the one of the parents died, the mother. Well, yeah, I mean right. the the main breadwinner, you know, passed away, and then yeah, yeah, the the mother who, you know, <clears throat> honestly, we don't know even at this point in the manga like what her deal is, but mm. she might not have even gone to college, like, right? So certainly not the hospitality industry. <laughs> But uh, but yeah, this this is this is a series. As I said in the opening, I I've caught you know I've been I've been caught up with it for its entire run, basically, and it's one of those like rare harem series where I like all the girls. Like there's huh. there's not any of them that I'm like yeah I fucking hate that bitch. Well, okay, maybe except the Siscon. Well, uh, yeah, but she's not part of the harem. <laughs> she tries so hard to be part of the harem, but she's not. Fair enough. But, like, the actual girls in the harem, I don't dislike any of them. I definitely have my clear favorites and my clear least favorites. Mm-hmm. But it's not like... You know, it's not one of those uh, not one of those series... <clears throat> <laughs> Where if a, if the character ends up with one of them at the end, I'm gonna be super pissed. Oh, okay, okay. <clears throat> <Emo. Yeah. clears throat> Sorry, I had some shit in my throat. Right. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm really liking Ogata though. Like that, that's. I'm, I'm wondering who can who can top that, like for me. There's still <laughs> several more the characters to be introduced to. I don't so. know. I, don't, it, it, I, I like them both. It I hits. Really it hits close to home. Uh, knowing, knowing lots Rizu. of math. Oh, there we go. Rizu Oga, yeah. the short one. <clears throat> we already know who who, who uh, Yuki's favorite is. There, <laughs> as 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 someone who has fallen asleep in a math class, gotten woken up by the math teacher, and mm. says, "Do the problem on the board," and you go, "Okay." I didn't even stand up. I was just like, "Okay, this is this. This is this. This is this." Am I wrong? <laughs> I'm not I'm certainly not up to uh, her Abilities. stature but <laughs> I do know Matt you had to use stature nice, sure. that, didn't you? <clears throat> nice. anyway uh, we better get going because we're about to go stream and we're four minutes late already so we're not dating the video at all <laughs> yeah anyway so let us know what you thought of the anime, what you thought of our reaction in the comment section below. Yep, thumbs up. If you like it, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification button. And if you're interested in during our Discord, look for the description below. If you like our videos here on YouTube, consider going to patreon.com slash attackersaga and making a donation. Because remember, your support helps keep the channel running. But that's going to do it for this episode of Anime Reaction. As always, I'm DK. I'm Zero. Hashimi-senpai! See you, See next, you time. next time.